story links. Well, when most of us ride our bikes, it's usually for recreation, fitness, or perhaps just a quick errand. But when Santa Barbara resident Scott Stoll gets on his bike, it is a world before he gets off of it. KIOS <laughs> PJ Javahari has that story. PJ. Olga, oh, that's right. You know, I met a man today that actually is doing something that only certain people in the world have been able to attempt. Even fewer people have been able to accomplish it, and that's circumnavigating the world on a bicycle. Albert Einstein once said on the theory of relativity, I thought up that one while I was on my bike. And Scott Stoll has plenty of time to think up anything his heart desires on his bike. Today, he's trekking through the central coast on his journey to circumnavigate North America on his bicycle. But it's not the first time he's experienced this. One day, one week, had a really bad week. My girlfriend broke up with me, I got fired, and my roommate eloped and left me stuck with the rent bill. And then I, I asked myself, well, if, if I only have one chance, if I could do anything, what would I do? And I just thought and thought and thought, and my answer was to ride a bicycle around the world and just find the meaning of life. In four years, beginning in 2001, he became one of only a handful of people on our planet to attempt and accomplish riding his bicycle around 50 countries and six continents. From the snowy hills and mountains of Nepal. I asked for this, I can't complain. <laughs> to the dry and desolate highways of South Africa. 56, 58. He says he's found the meaning of life. From a really practical point of view, the meaning of life is really whatever you create it to be. If you don't like your life, you can recreate it. You can, you can create your own meaning, a new meaning. And met the unique people that live them. Can sing. Oh. <laughs> His bike, an average bike, is rigged with a trailer where he has his clothes, his tent, pots and pans and toiletries to get him through his 15 month journey across North America. I'm just camping, uh, living on the bike so to speak and uh, I have a little bit of money saved. And as far as a real job to support this trip, I was a graphic designer, copywriter during the dot com boom in San Francisco. And that's how I initially saved the money. And the trip cost around the world about $25 a day. And that's including airfare and bicycle. His current trip began several weeks ago to our south. And while he ponders the meaning of life, he now says he wants to live it. I've come up the coast and I plan on circumnavigating North America. This journey is about kind of living what I learned the first time, you know. The first time it was like I wanted to find the meaning of life and this time I realized, well, I kind of found the meaning, but I still have to live my life, you know. <laughs> and Scott says that his travels around the world on his bikes were nothing short of memorable. He was nearly trampled by an elephant in both Nepal and Tanzania. He was thrown in prison in Zimbabwe and had a head-on collision with a scooter in Vietnam and almost died of dehydration in uh, Baja, California and then Mexico as well. But it was the journey through his eyes that helped him realize what life is all about. Olga? Wow, so a pretty bad day turned into an incredible adventure. Yeah, exactly. Amazing what he's yeah. been through. Thank you, PJ. Stoll also says that he goes through a new set of tires every single week and hopes to make it to Vancouver, Canada by early summer then travel across the northern U.S. to the northeast and eventually south into Florida where his journey will take him down to Mexico before then returning home towards the end of next year. And still ahead tonight on the news at 11 o'clock, a new project.